love Kenny too. Say if you can find a Kenny tune to play for Kenny, your man. Play a Kenny tune, your man. Lord, that is the shortest speech ever by Kenny. But it was good. You make great card today. I am. Hey, yo, one man, I know I got the drive to make number five come alive. Let me tell you about him. Hey, yo, Kenny. Buster. The most I win you forever. You are going to be number five savior. Kenny Douglas, you are never going to take SP out of pressure. Kenny care for the whole of Hope City. And for the whole of SKB. Kenny are the man with the remedy. Kenny Douglas got a better strategy. In a higgy day and most Kenny sold up. Election never get to order. But no power we kill and fear can all who are here to live on all the Judas. Many a car but the Kenny them chose us. All with the pride none of them can refute us. Kenny going to battle all of them when election come on we not care if they go up. The most I win you forever. Kenny with a tip bro. You know it already on one side. I must go represent. You know it already. From send kids to Jamaica. Tell them don't play them. Number five, if you love Kenny, let me hear you say, wow! <laughs> Kenny, they love you, man. They love you. You can't follow me, man. Mind tell Kenny, don't tempt me, no. Tell him, don't tempt me, because I would just tell everybody, let me go down church street right now, no. We go down. Not nah, right now, not nah, right now. Right now, what we gonna bring? What we gonna do? We gonna bring the representative for number four, Samuel Doggins, and stand for you. Doggins we have vote for Can't lose in another way you ban for I'm trying to pull you down But some man Doggins get stronger When you didn't lose everybody you laugh at When you fish you go tell them say you're faster Man stop a bear Who don't see we a flop a bear You want to say we now make it well a ho come Me a go a come I've been through the fire and flames and Some man been through the cash at all been through the sum and the pain and labor people are get a door and stop a bear. Who not see we a flap a bear? You was a winner, make it well a ho come. Me a go a come. I been through the fire and flames and some man been through the cash at all. I been through the sum and the pain and labor people are get a door. Unstoppable labor comrades. How are you feeling? Are you ready? And where's my unstoppable labor women? Are you ready? And I know today we have quite a number of our unstoppable labor youth. Let me hear you if you're red and ready. That's right. And they say I can't leave out the men. So we are my men, the unstoppable labor men, the strong labor men. Are you ready? People of St. Kitts and Nevis, you are now listening to the voice of the next parliamentary representative for constituency number four. Three more weeks, three more weeks, and we all marching down to Church Street. They even paint over the building for us, how they know we coming. How they know we coming, fresh paint on the building for us. Three more weeks, but I want to tell you, I don't want to be there alone. So let me know if you want to have Kenny Douglas here with me. We have to transform sports in this country and Kenny Douglas is the best man for the job. And me and Kenny don't want to be there alone. 
So we want the man from number three to be jumping up in there with us again. We want Conrad, the engineer, to transform our infrastructure and make sure you get your homes, make sure you get your roads, make sure you get everything you need to make this country comfortable again. And we can't go down there without the man from number seven. We cannot go without him. So I am saying to number seven, make sure that you send Leon Nathan Nelson down there with us to Church Street. And what about the great shepherd of number one? The man who is number one in number one. You sent him there already. Will you send him back again? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. The man from number one will definitely be there with us. Look at him. And what about my sister? The beautiful, the strong, the powerful, the one in number two that you're voting for, Masha Henderson. We want Masha here with us as well. And of course, we cannot all be here without the great leader, the man from number eight, the man from number eight, the man from number eight, the next prime minister of St. Kitts and Nevis. We want him there with us as well. So we just send him to Church Street. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. And although he's not here with us today, I want you, and we know that's a foregone conclusion. It is a foregone conclusion because although he's not here on the stage, consistently every single time you have sent him to parliament for over 33 years, the icon, the icon is going to be here with us as well. So I am saying, St. Kiss and Nevis, we need a stable government. St. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiss and Nevis, we need to get back to the path that we were on. Yeah. We need investments to come back to our country. Yeah. Yeah. We need our people to feel peace and love again and not so much divisiveness and fighting and fighting and fighting. It's time for all that to end. So the way for that to end is to vote for a new day. To vote for a better way. To vote for all eight candidates of the Sankis Nevis Labour Party. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Tell all your friends and neighbors, we voting for some other labor. From Challenge us down to New Guinea, we voting for the Labour Party. Tell other man that to go. We can't take it all no more. When you come home, Number four, you will be sworn into parliament very soon. Stay focused. But I would like to call on the chain gang soldiers. Anybody see the chain gang soldiers? Whenever they come, I ask them to proceed to the front of the stage. I have an assignment for them on election day, okay? The chain gang soldiers. In the meantime, comrades, I will bring to you your representative from number two. The, the powerhouse of a lady, the defender of the woman, the defender of Sankis and Nevis, Marsha Henderson. 
Yo, central. Too much number two and number two. I know that it's essential. You know that's important. To find a leader with credential in this next election. So I introduce to you Marsha, Marsha Henderson. I say she's the one for you. Central, you want someone new. So I present to you Marsha, Marsha Henderson. The people's defender. Comrades and friends of the Labour Party. Good evening. You're looking good. You're looking good, comrades. What a match. Now this afternoon we sent a message. We showed up this afternoon and we showed out. It is clear, comrades, that the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party is red and ready. And the elections are coming. We don't care how long they take to ring the bell. The elections are coming and I am confident that the people of St. Kitts and Nevis will elect the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party into government at the end of the elections. So this afternoon we showed up and we showed up, we marched this afternoon for our democracy. We marched this afternoon for our communities and we marched this afternoon for decency. You see comrades, our country is crying out for restoration. Our country is crying out for transformation. And the only solution comrades and friends is the Senkets nevis labor party we have suffered too long in this country and we have suffered far too much and so i am asking you to vote for the sentence nevis labor party the eight solid candidates here behind me when you go on election day vote for the hand when you go into that polling station look for the hand you see comrades our symbol is a hand for the reason we represent the capable hands we represent competent hands and so when you go in that box when you see in, po in constituency number one look for the box with the name that has jeffrey handley next to it and when you go to number three tell me comrades where you're putting your your ex that's right and how about in number four number four where you're putting your ex and we don't know where we're putting we ex in number five that's right and in number six we put in we ex for none other than dr denzel douglas and in number seven we put in we ex for comrade leon Nathan nelson and when we go to number eight in number eight comrades we are placing our ex in the box by dr terence drew our comrade leader and the next prime minister of this country and when we come to central bastia constituency number two central bastia come forward tell me where you're putting your ex tell me where you're putting your ex we're putting the ex for marsha henderson so thank you for showing up, comrades. Thank you. We love you. Good night.
Comrades, I have to give Marsha credit. You have to give Marsha credit. Just imagine Marsha gone bang to man one time. One time. Bang them so bad you got straight parliament. I tell you boy. But come on, seven years is a long time. A lot of suffering in, suffering in seven years. A lot of nothing in seven years. And they're asking for more time. More time for what? That is why I need the chain ground soldiers to come forward. Because the assignment I have for them is on the day of elections. At the time of 1800 hours, they are to report to Church Street. They are to take with them a 10 foot chain and three locks. And they are to assist the officer who is on, who is on standby. And they are to lock that gate. And in case anybody besides Dr. Joe come, tell them they can't go in. Because only Dr. Joe gonna get the key. Only Dr. Joe gonna get the key for the government office. Doc, you got the key? Come on, you ready to jump? You ready to jump? No machine, you ready to jump? I bring to you! I bring to you the man for no machine! King Conwis Maynard!
because you see so dead I got be jumping up again Everybody jump, everybody jump I let me see you jump Everybody jump, I wanna see you jump Everybody jump, I wanna see you jump Take a jump up, a little jump up A little wind up <laughs> Well we know since you're small you're always talking about what you can do for your country Bringing dreams from the sky so they're never too high for our good children to reach What we didn't expect is that quality food take away your sweet music from we But now we put you on notice you got to do the both things for we Let me hear you sing 10,000 pictures And send kids need this can't be wrong Can we no time not to Time to bring the spirit To win this election God gave a talent Use it to fill this land So we don't destroy in not the place We want to labor in the place Everybody, and let me go Let me hear you sing Any man for Sing a song Go then you I'll be and bring back you to a boat because you I got be jumping up again. Hey, let me go. Everybody jump. I wanna see your jump. Let me see your jump. I wanna see your jump. Everybody jump. I wanna see your jump. Hey. One more time, I wanna hear you sing to the top of your voice. I'm coming back for number three. I demand for number three. Sing a song for me. But when you hit this stage, I'll be jumping up again. I bring back your melody to a whole land me. Because you speak so dead. I'm gonna be jump, jump one more time. Jump, 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 jump. Cause we jumping up again Oh Lord Yeah <laughs> Comrades You ready? You ready? In the new government You're going to have versatility A man who could come up here And sing a song and make everybody move And then a man who could go and debate any bill in parliament a man who can then go and build any road, install any infrastructure, make entertainment number one for St. Kitts in the Caribbean. You're going to have versatility in a Labour government. And it doesn't end with me. It is all of our candidates on our A-team that bring versatility, that bring creativity, that brings competence to the government that we need. Good night, everyone. How are you feeling? Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah. I want to tell you, if there is ever a time to vote Labour, is now. If there is ever a time to vote for Labour, it is now. The country is calling out and screaming out for stability. For a stable government that can attend to the needs of the people. And what we have seen over the past few months, what has been revealed is that over the last seven years, we have not had a government that has been working on or towards our interests, but for their own interests. And you know, if you ever know the number seven, in the Bible, it is the number of completeness. That the heavens have has for us we have to do our part we cannot let God come and laugh on us afterwards 
when he has presented an opportunity to us and so if there is ever a time to vote for labor it is now we have refreshed ourselves we have rebranded ourselves we have tweaked ourselves we have completed ourselves we have made sure that our team has on everything that you could possibly need to move St. Kitts and Nevis into the future. When we have a stable government, there are so many things we can now focus on. The cost of living has gone past your wages. And so we are giving a commitment that the St. Kitts and Nevis Labour Party will engage the stakeholders in this country to bring about at least a minimum wage of $500 per week. That is what you can achieve with a stable government that is not tugging and pulling against itself. With a stable government, I meet all the time people who are interested in small businesses, but they see no light in the tunnel. They see no future, especially after the pandemic. With a stable government, we will be able to inject the needed stimulus for our small businesses to rise and thrive. And so I don't want you to mess around with these elections. PLP cannot win six seats. Not possible. PAM cannot win six seats. CCM cannot win six seats. NRP cannot win six seats. So what we are saying is, Labour Party is the party that can bring a stable government. We can come together and form a stable government. And when we do that, we can invite whoever we want to be a part of that government. And so I want you to go out in your communities and ensure that if you are registered and your name appears on the voters list, that you make a plan to go out and vote on election day and put your ex by the hand. And as I close, we have been hearing the news that Timothy Harris is searching for extra time. Searching for extra time. I don't know if he's a football team now who always running out of time. Da, 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 da. We only run out of time. Timo, Timo, you know you're gonna lose because you don't run out of time. Timothy Harris is out of time. And yesterday he went to the governor's, the governor general's office above the cemetery. I am told, as usual, he brought his crocodile tears along. He probably brought his napkin, and you know what he does do with his napkin. And he brought lawyers with him to try and convince the governor general that somehow he has not 90 days but 180 days that is what he's trying to tell people but our constitution is clear there are some things the lawyers will tell you that are left up to interpretation so one lawyer could have this interpretation another lawyer could have this interpretation a judge could have this interpretation but when it comes to the constitution and when we should have elections, there is only one interpretation. It says that after the dissolution of parliament, a general election must, not must, shall be held within 90 days. And that 90 days is up on August 8th. That 90 days is up on August 8th. So in just about three weeks or so, all of you will be able to congratulate this A team that is led by our A leader, Dr. Terence Drew, as the new government in St. Kitts and Nevis. So I ask again, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? God love you. God bless you. I love you. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm in Labour X, 
I make them vex. I mean Labour X. I make them vex. I make them vex. Again, I want to sing. Everybody sing. I mean Labour X. I go make them vex. I mean Labour X. I go make them vex. I mean Labour X. I go make them vex. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. I think can you seem to forget that? Can you seem to forget I the host tonight? DJ, key up something. Because he come make you forget that I... Well, 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 well. such good time that's why we got to get rid of them we want to bring back good times in St. Kitts and Nevis Just some public announcement. Our youths will be having an event this week. They'll be having a youth symposium at, and rally at the Frigate Bay Resort at 2 p.m. <laughs> I said the youth rally, okay? The youths will be having a rally. I think it's Royal St. Kitts. Sorry, at Royal St. Kitts on this Sunday at 2 p.m. And of course, when we come and talk about the youths, we know we have one genuine man who cares about the youths of St. Kitts and Nevis. The one man who will transform education in St. Kitts and Nevis. That man comes from East Bastia. East Bastia Warriors, let me hear you. Let me hear you welcome your representative to the podium. Welcome, Jeffrey Hanley. With you I can't lose, I'm forever number one I am a winner I am a winner I am a winner Hey, yeah I put on the whole, I'm a record Nothing can stop me cause I'm stronger than before I am a winner I am a winner Warriors from the East East past your mouth, hey We vote it for Jeffrey We vote it for the Jeffrey We know my wife Comrades of Labour, good evening. Comrades of Labour, good evening. Can you feel it, comrades? Can you feel it, comrades? Can you smell it? Comrades of labor, a change is coming, and I want each and every one of you to be a part of this change. We say thank you for your love and your support. 
we sent another message to the Prime Minister this afternoon. We are not easing up any pressure, comrades. But it's all well for us to march. But the most important thing is to ensure that all of us go to the polls whenever he decides to call the general elections. And I don't want you to go alone. I gave you a homework assignment. I don't know how many of you completed it. But I'm asking because I have my reading pen ready to mark the homework assignment. Have you contacted your 10 people already to take to the polls, comrades? And when you finish finding that 10, go after another 10. This is an election. We are not leaving any labor vote at home. This is an election as well that none should be upset at this time because the country is in dire need of true leadership. And we have a young prime minister in Dr. Terence Drew who will deliver for all of us. So in all of this, comrades, I challenge you to remain focused. Don't be distracted. Don't listen to all of the noise. Let us stay at work and make sure that whenever the bell is rung and he only have a few more hours, he could run as much as he want. He could hide as much as he want. He could cancel all the show them as much as he want. He must call the general election. And comrades, when he does that, are you ready, comrades of labor? Are you ready? I see a set of national flags in the crowd. And I see the labor flags as the red wave get ready to sweep this entire country. He don't have enough money to buy out this country. And we will defeat him with his money because we have a genuine love for the people. So comrades, are you ready? I got to go, but I need to make sure that the labor train hit us in Central Bastia. In Central Bastia, we have the queen of the pack. Central Bastia, are you ready for the queen of the pack? Comrade Marsha Henderson. And comrades, you heard him earlier performing like a real king and you realize he make up a verse but he ain't even realize that that verse was prophetic comrades of east bastia are you ready to join us in central bastia and take the train up to constituency number three with Conway, sir. I say, Conway, sir, you will be in Church Street with Marsha and myself. And you heard Samala. I say, he roaring. Remember, I come from the school with the original roar, Branty Welch Primary. And we know how to roar down there. In number four, we roar in for sure with Samala. And in number five, in number five, it is alive. Let them stay down there with all the confusion. Don't get involved. Support Kenny in number five. And he's not with us tonight. But you know in number six, 
Lord, I see the train. He just leave Sandy Point, heading into Newton Ground in number six. Dr. Denzel Llewellyn Douglas, and he jump on and he say, "Comrade Deputy, we going to pick up Nato in number seven. Our David, he will make history." Dwyer Astafan defeated Sir Kennedy Simmons and Leon Nata Nelson in number seven will defeat Timothy Harris and then I tell you we leave in Marino we coming around the bend into large and he touching off Atlas comrades comrades of labor are you ready to ensure that that train takes us from Atlas all the way up to St. Peter's? Comrades of Labour, I feel the victory. I smell it prophetically. God will deliver it. Comrade Terrence Joe, the next Prime Minister. Look at God. Look at God. Love you. Love you. Clean sweeper. Clean sweeper. You like the team? You like the team? You ready? You ready? We ready for them. Let them know. We ready for them. Don't tell them so. That's how we feed them. Comrades, we are about to wrap up our rally. But I want to say to all of you tonight that the reason why we are in this position. It is because a government has failed. They have failed you, the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. And that is why we are saying that if they have failed you, that it's time for all of them to go. <laughs> and so, Timothy Harris is trying to hide behind the Constitution. But the Constitution is not with him. His time to go is now. And the other thing that they're trying is to prevent our nationals and our citizens from coming into St. Kitts to vote come next elections. But we are saying clear to them that we will not accept any action to undermine democracy here in St. Kitts and Nevis. And so, patriots, and the citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis, now is the time to take your country back into your own hands. And I'm asking you to join the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party. My voice is getting better, so I wouldn't exchain it too much tonight. But I want to ask you, in constituency number one, I want to ask you to vote for Comrade Jeffrey Hanley. Put your hands together for Comrade Jeffrey Hanley. Put your hands together for Comrade Jeffrey Hanley. And in constituency number two, I'm asking you to vote for Comrade Marsha Henderson. Put your hands together for Comrade Marsha Henderson. And in constituency number three, I am asking you to vote for the Honorable 
Soon to be on the rebel again. Conway's Maynard, the man for number three. Put your hands together for Conway's. And in constituency number four, I am asking you to vote for the next parliamentary representative of number four. The man that rules, the man that rules, Congress Samuel Duggins. And in constituency number five, 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 Kenny is alive, and I'm asking you to vote for Comrade Kenny Douglas come the next general elections. And in constituency number six. In constituency number six, the parliamentary representative for number six, our past leader, he had a mishap and couldn't be here on time. But I'm asking the people of constituency number six, I'm asking you to support Comrade Dr. Denzel Douglas in the next election. And in constituency number seven, and in constituency number seven, is number seven here tonight? Is number seven here tonight? Is number seven here tonight? I'm asking you to vote for Comrade Leon Nato Nelson. Put your hands together for Leon. Put your hands together for Leon. And in constituency number eight, number eight, are you here tonight? 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 And I'm asking you to vote for me, Dr. Terrence Joe, party leader, and your next prime minister. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sir Davis, your Labour team, your Labour team for the next elections. Thank you, and good night. Get rid of